<laughs> I'm not allowed to have any lines at all. <laughs> Antran Brown, Tony Schumacher, they're going to be next at the line. Morgan Lucas is out already. I told you, we might have some runs here, and the weather is changing so quickly. Colder, a little drier. What do you think, Mike? Oh, man, based on what we're seeing now, it's, it's pretty good out there. And the track conditions, we, you know, I talked to some crew chiefs. You know, the right lane has, you know, some bumps, and both lanes have a little bit of bumps in it, but they felt the surface as far as preparation was excellent. Let's take a look at career round wins. Look at some of the names on there, and look down at the bottom, Schumacher. Just two rounds away from getting into 500. That could just just happen tomorrow at 7 o'clock when we come on the air. Yeah, that 500 club, that's an exclusive club, as you can see right there. Some big names. Or you could have a moment like Terry Haddock had at Chicago, and he's out in round one and waits another week. Two weeks, actually. Three weeks. Angel Sampe, I wonder what, what she was up to. She is here watching Antron Brown, former teammate with Antron and Pro Stock Motorcycle. You know, Antron started this session in the number four spot. He's been bumped down to number seven with all these great runs we're seeing. Seventy-nine, 319 miles an hour. That's only going to put him to fourth, and Schumacher's only going to go to third. I kind of expected a little more out of that, but still not bad. Uh, I don't know. I mean, a couple 379s. You saw Tony Schumacher have a problem, that uh, supercharger there. You look at that. It's off sideways. It wasn't supposed to be there. Watch the left side of your screen. It's going to backfire that supercharger right at the finish line. He went 314 miles per hour, so it wasn't too far. Ooh, man, that was a big bang at uh, right at the lights. How about Antron Brown, though? 319 miles per hour, almost breaking that 320 mile per hour barrier in just 1,000 feet. That's pretty outstanding. Two wheels or four, it would be good to see Angel Sam payback. Still picking up pieces from Tony Schumacher's car. By the way, Antron Brown still has the fastest pass at 1,000, 319.75. Let's go to Dave Reef. He has Angel Sam Yeah, great to see the Pro Stock Motorcycle Champ here, aspiring top fuel pilot up there watching Antron. What brings you to Richmond this weekend? I'm coming to hopefully meet with some potential sponsors, and I'm always looking for a job. So, but fortunately, I did this shirt I'm wearing, G Smith Motorsports. Where um, I'm going to be representing Borget Motorcycles. If you've ever heard of Borget Custom Cycles, so I'm doing that on the side. That's going to be a lot of fun for me. But you know, I want to be back out here on the racetrack, and that's the first time I've been on the starting line next to one of those. Things I was going to ask. Quite a while, <laughs> and I jumped a lot more than I thought I would. I, you forget what the feeling is when you haven't been up here, but it's just. For race fans who've never been on the starting line, you can't, words do not describe the feeling. And now you want to do it. I, I want to be in one. I definitely want to feel what it's like to sit in front of that motor and, and go down the racetrack or behind the motor. I don't care which one it is. As long as it has four tires, I want to give it a try. Great to see you here. We can't wait till we get you back. Thank you. Well, and after we've seen what Antron Brown was able to do with that transition, imagine what she could do.